I traditionally use pretty low output guitars and that enables me I feel like to kind of push the amp into like what I perceive to be like a sweet spot mm -hmm. so I don't know I feel like I like the dead I definitely like the edge of breakup clean sound I'm still kind of maybe like a little old school I use the volume knob a little bit so I like to be able to like put the amp on you know if like on my Benson like three is definitely clean yeah but I like all the way up to six like still feels good and not like overdriven and too dirty and stuff but it just gives you like some play in the dynamic because you can I don't know at three everything kind of feels the same and then your dynamic range just kind of grows a little bit as it gets up to like six mm -hmm. so you can play really hard and you can get some kind of like cool preamp overdrive or you can just play kind of soft and it sounds like it does on three right maybe it's a great amp too that's cool yeah but uh that's kind of i don't know that's kind of how i generally do it i like to be able to like play really soft or play hard and get like a lot of different sounds based on how i do that yeah that's great and what about your second amp that you use okay second how are you, how are you using that one uh, second amp is like a supplemental kind of thing. So I've got like a switcher on my pedal board that I use to run the first amp and then I can switch just to the second amp, but I don't ever do that. I just always add the second one to the first one. So it's like really dirty, really like com kind of compressed and just all the knobs are turned all the way up. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's usually like pan somewhere else in the mix if we're at like a show or something so it just kind of feels like you know this guy just got up on stage and plugged into an overdrive pedal and just started playing the same thing as you and was like mm -hmm. hey look i can do that too but it's both of them are me yeah i like that yeah that's cool okay and so as far as some of the sounds or influences you draw on with that kind of tone and that sort of idea who are you who are you like comparing it to or mm. drawing from there? Well, I feel like I really enjoy polar opposite sounds a lot of times. So I love like a really nice clean sound. And like I love like obviously like all the U2, like really, you know, and it's not all very clean, but like the idea of like the chimey, bright kind of like beautiful thing I really like but then I also like the kind of ruckus of like the Jimmy Page thing where you know he's like got these like really scrappy like dirty like amps that are gonna mm -hmm. explode on you and, and then there's like Mike Campbell who's like really just like pop sensible melody and like smooth kind of rock playing mm -hmm. and so I I kind of try to create something that looks a little bit like all those things where it's like this more hi-fi kind of like edge thing but it's also like the silver tone is obviously kind of inspired by like the scrappier kind of rock stuff like even like some Jack White kind of vibes where it's just like man how did it that guitar sounds like it's literally gonna explode like it's gonna break and so I'll kind of dig that too yeah 